Hey everyone, it's Jet back today with an, with another achievement slash mount video because doing this achievement, you'll get a mount and the achievement is called Kazalgar Glyph Hunter and the objective is to complete following Glyph Hunter achievements in Kazalgar. Now I made separate videos for each of these zones, but I decided to put them all into one as that might work best for some people. Now after you complete this, you'll get a mount called the Sormite Sky Hunter and I'll show you what that looks like at the end of the video. I also tooltip each one of these zones, so if you're looking for a specific zone, you can just jump to it. And I'll also put the coordinates in the description below. So without further ado, let's knock out another achievement and get another mount. Hey everyone, it's Jet back today with another achievement video. And today I'm going to show you how to get the achievement called Isle of Dorne Glyph Hunter. There's 10 of them, so I'll show you where each one is and I'll put the waypoints in the description below. So without further ado, let's begin. First one we're going to get is right up here in this area right here. And you just want to fly up and it's sitting right up in here. On to the next. This next cliff is located right up in here, right on top of the mountain in the Isle of Dorne. So we'll fly up here, get it, go to the next. This next cliff is located right down here in this area of the Isle of Dorne. And it's in, in between two uh, rock pillars. So we'll fly down here, get this. Head to the next. This next glyph is located right up in here. Up here in this mountain, on top of the mountain here, down here in these little islands. So we'll fly up here. Grab our next. This next glyph is located right here, right above the Cinder Brew Meadery. And it's on top of a, a mountain. So we'll grab it. Head to the next. All right, this next glyph is located right here and it's underneath a bridge, right down here to the west of the Cinder Brew Meadery. It's underneath the bridge, so we're gonna grab it. Go to our next glyph. This next glyph is located right here, right to the south of the, of the delve and north of the flight path here, the Bronze Timekeeper. And it's sitting on top of some, of, of some rocks. This next glyph is located right down here in this, on this island right here. And it's above the uh, rocks here, so we'll grab it. This next glyph is located right here, just south of Frey World Village. And it's next to a tower. I'm just going to fly up there and get it. And the final glyph is located right down here in Dar's o Oztan right on top of a mountain. So we'll grab this, and that's how you get the Isle of Dorne Glyph Hunter. Hope this video helped, and good luck with your dragon riding. Hey everyone, it's Jet back today with another achievement video, and today I'm gonna show you how to get the achievement called the Ringing Deeps Glyph Hunter. Discover the following sky riding glyphs in the Ringing Deeps, there's nine of them. So I'll put all the waypoints in the description below. So the first one we're going to get, we're going to work our way from the bottom up it is right down here in the ringing deeps all the way in the bottom and we'll just fly to it. This next cliff is in the living grotto and it's right here, right in this area right here. So you can see it right up there. So we'll grab it, go to the next. This next glyph is located right at the entrance uh, when you get into the Taylock Mine area right down here. And it's on top of a, uh, basically like the bridge. This next glyph is located in the Rumbling Wastes right here and it's it's right on top of this, uh, this plateau right here. This next glyph is in the Waterworks right here in the southern part of the waterworks right here and it's right on the cliff of these mountains this next cliff is located in the chittering den and it's right on top of a waterfall right up here as you can see it right there so we're just gonna fly up there and grab it This next cliff is located in the Lost Mines, right here on top of a plateau. You can see it right there. 
This next glyph is located in basically right outside town here in this area in Brunwyn's Terrace. You can see it's in between two pipes. So we'll fly up here, grab this, and head to the last one. And the last glyph is located in the stone vault exterior right up in here. And it's right on top of this building right here. So we'll grab it and that'll give us our last glyph. So that's how you get the ringing deeps glyph hunter. Hope this video helped and have fun with your dragon riding. Hey everyone, it's Jet back today with another achievement video. And today I'm going to show you how to get the achievement called Hallow Fall Glyph Hunter. Discover the following sky riding glyphs in Hallow Fall. There's 10 of them. So let's begin. I'll put the waypoints in the description below. First one we're going to get is located right up in here. And it's in between two buildings in Vellum's Claim. This next glyph is located in Bleak Stand, right up in here. And it's on top of this mountain right here. This next glyph is located right here, up in this area right here. You can see it, it's in between uh, these rocks hanging down. So we're just gonna fly over there and grab it. And that's where it's located. This next glyph is located in Dunnell's Kindness, right here, and it's on top of uh, on top of the tower here, the light tower. So you can see it right here. This next glyph is located right down here, and it's on top of, top of a rocks, like a mountain made of rocks, right up in here. So you're just gonna have to fly up there, and and go all the way to the top. This next glyph is located right up, you can see it right up in here. It's in the sanguine uh, grass, and sometimes it can be phased. So uh, if it phases out, if you just fly through it really quick, you'll still get it. Just like that, even though it phases. So go ahead to the next. This next glyph is located in Tanir's Ascent. It's located right here, and it's in between this dock ship and a wall. Just in be right in there. This next glyph is in Moreldar, right here, and it's on top of uh, on top of the building here. We'll fly up and grab it. This next glyph is in the Veneration grounds, right here, and it's inside uh, on top of the. It looks like a crash ship here, the remains of a crash ship. And the last grit, uh, the last glyph is right here in the Priory of the Sacred Flame, and it's on top of the main building, right around here. You can see it right there. So we'll grab this, and that's how you get the Hollow Fall Glyph Hunter. Hope this video helped, and have fun dragon ride. Hey everyone, it's Jet back today with another achievement video, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Ajkahet Glyph Hunter achievement. Discover the following sky. Riding glyphs in Ashkahet. There's 11 of them. I'll put the waypoints in the description below. Now, when we complete this, we'll also complete the Kaz Algar uh, Glyph Hunter, and we'll get a mount called the Soul uh, Swarmite Sky Hunter. So I'll show you what that looks like at the end of this video. So without further ado, let's begin. The first one we're gonna get is in Ruptured Lake, and you're gonna have to fly up here because it's in between some some like tree tree branches. So it's right there. This next glyph is in Siege Hold, and you're going to have to really fly up here, man. It, it's, it's like the first one we got. You got to fly really high, and it's on top of a mountain. So uh, we'll grab that and head to the next. This next glyph is in Arathi's End, and it's, it's sitting right here on top. Now, sometimes this could be phased, but if you fly really fast, you can grab it before it disappears. This next glyph is located really far up in, in, in the Ashkahet, right up in here. And, it, and it's behind some rocks, so you're going to have to fly up 
and uh, grab it. This next glyph is called is in the threading way and it's located right down here and you'll notice it you have to fly up to it. It's really up there. Almost hugging the ceiling. This next glyph is in the Twitching Gorge. It's just south of the Weaver's Lair, right around this area right here. And you'll notice it's underneath this uh, building type thing. This next glyph is in the Eye of Anzurek, right here. And it's inside this building right here on the top. You're just going to have to fly up into it and grab it. This next glyph is located in the old sac sacrificial pit, and it's it's in the city of threads. And you're gonna have to fly up in here, very up top. This next glyph is in the maddening deep, which is located right down here, and it's underneath a uh, spider bridge here. We'll describe this. This next glyph is located in Rakush, right down here, and you're going to have to fly up in, up to it. And now we'll head to our last one. And our last glyph, sorry about that, we had to just backtrack right down here to right outside the City of Threads and Deepwalker Pass, and it's, it's sitting up on a platform. So, just going to have to grab this, and this will give us... Our Swarmite Sky Hunter and the achievement Ashkahat Glyph Hunter and Kazalgar Glyph Hunter. So let me show you uh, what this mount looks like since we got it. And let's see what it looks like. And it does uh, dragon ride. So, hope this video helped. Good luck with your achievement hunting and mount collecting.